sales again are up by 3%. Listings are down, price is up. Hey everybody, Stephen Ho here with the Mr. Saga real estate team and this is your November market update. So this is the story we've heard all year. Sales again are up by 3%. Listings are down, price is up. Ultimately with demand going up and listings going down, supply is low, price is going to be affected. In our last video, we talked about how immigration was lower than projected volumes for 2020 and that they were projecting to bring in more people over the next few years. Now, there are updates that this year we've actually brought in as many people as we did pre-COVID, but our projection is to actually exceed that level to make up for the shortfall we saw last year. So the government has actually made a decision here by bringing more people, they are not addressing the shortage of supply. They are more concerned of addressing the labor shortages that we are facing in Canada instead. So the other factor that we didn't talk about is actually unemployment rate. Now we know immigration's coming in, people with money or education are coming into this country to supply that labor shortage, but everybody needs a home to stay. So the next question is affordability. If people have jobs and they are getting paid, they are going to be able to afford housing. So over the last year, we saw a pretty big increase in unemployment rate. It was double digits at one point, but now if you look at unemployment, we're almost back to pre-COVID levels again. So th at that time, that was an all time low. So we're almost back at that point. And looking at that, we're seeing uh, increase in immigration, increase in employment rates. So people with more people, more people with jobs need housing. So they're going to have an increase, a continued increase in price going forward, unless there's going to be an increase in interest rates. And that's the next factor. They have announced that they will be in increasing interest rates in the new year, probably around the third quarter or the fall market. But even then, if it's not a substantial increase in interest rates, that's really not going to stop the market overall. If it just creeps up as a plan to do so, the market will follow along, maybe not increase as rapidly, but there's with the limit in supply, the increase in demand, there's going to still be an upward pressure on price. So if you have any questions, we'd love to help. Take a look at the different segments in the market and find the opportunities that work for you and your family. As the price has gone up by 20, almost 30%, year over year, you may find yourself with a little bit more equity than you thought you had. And you can use that to build towards your future and your family's legacy going forward. You can build generational income and wealth. If you have any questions, let us know. We'd love to help. We'd also love to help you spot the opportunities in the market that will best suit you and your family. So hit us up and have a chat. Until then, We'll see you next time.